Good day. Welcome to Weld.com. We've had numerous requests on how to put together a TIG machine, how to set up a machine. Today we're going to be putting together an Everlast 210 EXT. We're going to set up each of the components, show some B-roll, how everything goes together. Uh, I do this when I order equipment. Uh, I like to I like to have it just shipped in to me. I don't like the vendor to put anything together because I like to show students how everything goes together. That way if they need to troubleshoot or if they've got a problem somewhere, at least they've had some familiarity with each of the components. So uh, we've got everything just out. So we're going to go through this step by step, hook everything together. Okay, we have about seven things to do here. Uh, TIG torch, gas hose, regulator, uh, front end components, foot pedal, ground clamp, and uh, our power source back here. We've got an option to go 220 volt or 110 volt input. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and put together the, the TIG torch. Standard collet, collet body. <clears throat> have a number seven ceramic cup from our good friends at Shea Spec. We have a beautiful back cap here. Lightweight. That is so cool. And we also have a custom tungsten holder. E3 tungsten. We're all color coordinated here. This is so cool. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and hook up the gas. So <clears throat> Some of you may experience this. You get these cylinders that come in. They might be rusted and this is tight. Tap on it a little bit. You can also take your crescent wrench and stick it in that slotted hole and give it a go. Break that loose. Always make sure that your cylinder is chained prior to taking the cap off. Okay, I'm gonna hook up a regulator. Got the cap off. Good idea to uh, Crack that cylinder and blow any dirt out. Also inspect the uh, regulator seat. Make sure there's no dings in it. Ah, oh, I had that set perfectly. I think that camera guy's been over messing around again. I like to sit that down snug. Again, I like to inspect threads when I'm putting stuff together for the first time. Make sure there's no dings in them. I'm going to take this gas hose and put it into the back of the machine. Okay, next comes the ground clamp. Just my personal preference, I like to hook up the ground, then the foot pedal then the TIG torch because I don't want any of these cables laying on top of the TIG torch cable while I'm doing work. So, gas tungsten arc welding. We're going to have a positive ground. Positive work. Next is the foot pedal. Oh, definitely the camera guy's work here. He's got this thing all nicely wrapped up. TIG torch into the negative terminal. Gas into the gas outlet. That is such a cool little quick disconnect. Makes it so much easier setting up your rig. Next, we will power the machine. We're going to go with 220 volt input. This machine does have an option to uh, adapt to 110 volt input as well. We're ready to turn the machine on first time, so we'll power it up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the gas on. <clears throat> uh, please stand to the side. Don't get in front of a regulator. Always turn these on slow. Ah, 
high pressure cylinders open all the way next thing we'll do is set our process high frequency TIG we have 80 amps DC we're on the foot pedal so I should be able to set gas flow I guess the first thing I would need to do is scroll through the menus and select a post flow time and right now we're at five seconds will go up to about eight seconds should be sufficient for low amperage I will depress the foot pedal just to set the gas we have a cylinder that has 1500 psi in it and our gas flow is set here we'll go with about 15 cubic feet per hour so we should be ready to weld Okay, we're ready to test this and see what we got. Foot pedal is operational. We're getting amperage control. I'm going to go up here on the edge and fully functional ready to weld I hope this helps <clears throat> uh, we're going to be doing this with about every process so if you have questions if you get stumped on something putting together any kind of machine if we can help you out please post it in the comments uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well thanks for watching weld.com